Hi everyone, uh, Kelly here, one of the site managers here at West Coast General Hospital. Um, I oversee psychiatry, med surge, labor and delivery, and this is a short little video clip to showcase our new wellness cupboard and introduction to the direction we're taking to support the new harm reduction policy here at Island Health. Um, so we're heading into a very exciting new direction here with CARE is that what we were really trying to do is ensure that we, our hospital is known by the community as a very safe space for everybody no matter their conditions, their background, um, socioeconomic status, um, and ensuring that people feel like when they come here they can trust us, be open and honest, and feel like we are going to meet whatever their needs are, whatever their journey is in their wellness plan. Um, so this includes individuals that do use substances. Historically, we did we erred more in the direction of expecting people to not use while access, accessing healthcare. But what we have seen is that this puts people in very vulnerable, um, unfortunate circumstances. People in the community have voiced concerns around not feeling safe to come and access healthcare because they know that if they come, they may have to go through severe withdrawals. Um, some people feel like they might get judged. Some people, um, they'll come and then they start feeling withdrawals or maybe they have a negative experience and then they leave against medical advice and they don't end up getting any better and they end up getting sicker in the community. So we want to try to head in a direction where that's not the experience of some of the people that we value in our community have when coming to West Coast. So a new thing, very exciting that we've done here is that we have here, this is in the a uh, little kitchen room on our psychiatry unit. This is available for staff to come, not just staff from the psych unit, but from around the hospital. If you have a patient that you think would benefit from anything from this wellness covered area that we are gonna show you. So what we have is we've created uh, an area where if we suspect that someone came in, maybe their clothes are really dirty, they're wet, they're you know not really suitable for the current weather, we want to provide options where we do have some shoe donations, boots and whatnot. So staff, if you want to donate some stuff, uh, please do bring some of you if anything at home that you think would be helpful. There's also some stuff found in emergency department as well as with our social work. Um, we do have some clothing as well based on different sizes. So if you notice that this is getting low and you're like, oh, you know, I've got quite a few things sitting in the back of my closet, feel free to bring them in. This here is our very exciting covered our wellness supplies. So this has a wide array of stuff. On our top here, we have things uh, for sexual health as well as infection control. Uh, so some hand sanitizer. We have some nourishment as well. So people can actually make almost like a little bit of a goodie bag and kit that kind of meets what their own individual needs are. There's some great resources here that provide some of the community supports as well as signs of overdose, uh, what to expect if you're, you're using some uh, strategies for safer injection. Um, and what evidence has shown is that this is not really enabling people to use, but it allows people to feel like, hey, they're not judging me for where I'm at, but it makes them feel that that maybe now I trust this person a bit more, that this is someone that maybe if I do have some questions about options for recovery, or you know, maybe they're, they want to try make a change in their life, or maybe they don't. Either way, they view us as healthcare providers as a safe person to talk to, to help them wherever they are in this journey. So we do have things here now, uh, specifically for different types of substances and usages. So we do have things like glass pipes, filtered mouthpieces, and whatnot for people that use inhalants. We have syringe, uh, syringes here. This is here for actually a cooker, so people don't have to actually use um, flames to melt down their product. They can use things like ascorbic acid here, which can help. Um, basically mini tourniquets, things for injection use, and providing with a sharps container. Uh, the idea around this is, is that we're not saying, you know, that we want, or that we're, enabling people to use around the hospital, but the idea is, is that we know that some people when they do come to hospital are still needing to use because of their body's dependence on a substance while accessing healthcare. Um, so we want to make, provide them with options to do it in the safest manner possible. So providing with this type of equipment. Another thing that we've done is we've introduced these lock boxes. So essentially what these are, it's we now treat people's substances as though it's part of their belongings. It's not our job to go through people's belongings. It's not our job to judge what someone should or should not be allowed to have. It belongs to them. Um, so the idea is that if someone is does have substances on them, we still want to ensure that 
us as staff and all the other patients and visitors are safe. So we want to make sure it's in a secure place. So this is a box we would allow someone to have for the duration of their stay. They would be the ones that control it. It can be used with either key through this keyhole to open up. I don't know if I can get it in properly here. As you can see here, so it looks like so. It would be empty and they'd be able to place their belongings in there. Or it can also be set with a punch with a keypad code. So we have two options for how we would use these. Um, and essentially, they would be responsible for the belongings there, and we would set up expectations around the usage of it. So ensuring that you know that they're not still use they're not using inhalants within the premises. They're going off property like you would with cigarettes. Uh, there's no smoking policy that still follows here. Um, if they are going to be using, that they're disclosing and communicating with us, because that's going to impact the care we provide. Right? The more we know, the more informed we can be to make sure that there's not you know medical or me me medication. Uh, contradictions, maybe we need to do a little bit more of assessments, um, things like that. Basically the more informed we are, the more we can ensure that mitigate risks, right? Uh, so there is some great resources to accompany this. Um, I encourage everyone to really get familiar with the Harm Reduction Handbook and Staff Toolkit. Part of this, there's a bunch of links and resources um, regarding harm reduction, but the big one here are these two policies that Island Health developed. So the storage and handling uh, decriminalized substances in acute care. This it has really great concrete steps to ensure that um, it mit mitigates the risk of exposure and that we're safely handling them, like with the lockbox. And then this one here has really great care planning considerations. So this, it, not everyone's going to be a one size fits all in their journey. Everyone's got, we're going to make individual care plans, but it's a great tool to help start the care plan. Um, we are very fortunate to have Dr. Longman, our physician here that basically does all of our addiction medicine. So if ever you suspect or you have, you know, concerns about someone's maybe wellness and recovery in relation to substance use, he has very graciously agreed to be looped in and wants to be involved in this care planning process. So all together collaboratively, we can really meet people where they're at in their journey, make this a very safe space here at West Coast General Hospital for all. So thanks all for taking the time to watch this short little clip. I know that this is a huge change within healthcare and the direction we're going. There's gonna be a lot of feelings, a lot of questions, a lot of learning as we go. Um, we will be modifying, you know, based on your guys' feedback. So please do communicate with leadership, including myself, how you're feeling about this, how things are going. If you're having concerns, um, your value is so, your, your input is so valuable. Um, and yeah, just know that ultimately we are here to also support you guys as well as the staff here at West Coast General. Um, so yeah, please feel free to share any questions or concerns uh, with me and the leadership team.